In today's Madden 20 tip, I'm going to give you two different defenses that is going to help you stop corner routes in Madden NFL 20 and help you kind of defend a little bit better against the pass. But before we do that, I want to encourage those of you that this may be your first time watching one of my videos. My channel is designed to help you get better at Madden NFL 20 and ultimately Madden NFL 21. And so uh, I just want to encourage you that if this video is helpful to you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. You can check out the channel. We've got a ton of Madden 20 videos already up there. We've got a whole offensive breakdown that we're doing uh, on the Arizona Cardinals offensive playbook. And so again, I just want to encourage you guys to subscribe and to check out all of the stuff, all the resources that we've got for you over at the YouTube channel. All right, so let's take a look at here. So most of you guys are probably in a similar boat to me that when someone runs a corner route this year, it is really, really difficult to stop right? It is really, really difficult to stop them. It's also interesting because there's a lot of different types of corner routes. You see there's these standard corner routes that are like a little bit longer. And then there's also like sharp, sharp corner routes. And then there's deep corner routes. And depending on who you face with escape artists, if they have escape artists, it's really, really difficult to stop corner routes from a compressed set, right? So I want to give you two tools that you can utilize. Let me find a good one here real quick for you. And we'll probably just use the uh, use the bunch, and we're going to use the play Z spot go, and then we'll also use um, use Z spot, and then I think that'll be good. And then oh, let's use the route from bunch trail as well because that's a little bit of a different route. All right, so let's check this out real quick. So the the defense that I'm in, the defensive playbook that I want to encourage you to use, and we're going to be doing a whole ebook on this. We're actually going to be doing a live ebook on this, so please stay tuned for that. But it's the nickel 335 normal. That's the that's the primary formation we're going to be out of today. But the defensive playbook you're going to want to pick is the Baltimore Ravens defensive playbook. In my opinion, it's the best defensive playbook in Madden 20. Gives you the access to the most, um, in my opinion, the best formations. It's going to help you get more stops on defense and ultimately win more games. So anyway, nickel 335. And here's the here's the deal with this. It's really cool because you can have access to both plays just by coming out in one play. And so what I like to recommend is to come out in the play, cover four, drop. All right, so you're in cover four, drop. And let me just show you really quick what happens. So this is kind of the problem, right? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to first identify the problem for you. So if I take, if I take my guy here, uh, Bourne, and I put him on a streak route, and then let's just say I take George Kittle, and I could actually really put him on any route. A lot of people this year, they like to put him on like a post route. And then maybe I'll drag Samuel. Like this would be kind of a basic look, right? What's going to happen is you're going to see here, if I have enough time in the pocket, um, Sanders is going to be wide open on the outside. And there we get a SWAT animation. But but normally he's going to be open. And let me show you. I can even show you from other sets here. If I go to Z spot and go, you'll see same kind of principle, right? Um, Sanders, right? If I have that pull down route, he's going to be able to get open to the outside. And you see that's a nice little possession catch. There's even some that are sharper that are going to get even better uh, leverage against cover four this year. So again, there's just so many ways to beat your opponent on the defensive or the offensive side of the ball, especially if they are having a really good escape artist quarterback. You see they can swerve catch these corner routes. And they're really, really deep. You'll see it's even more of an issue against Tampa two because if I'm in him if, if I'm in Tampa two and I and I press coverage up against it, let me just show you here. If I press coverage up and I'm just in a standard Tampa 2, right, then you'll see right here the issue. Again, you'll see R1 is going to be able to, with the pass lead up, you see he's got a, a good animation. And actually, um, the cover 2 does the best job uh, compared to the cover 4. But the Z spot, um, the Z spot and go, if you check, take a look at this just real carefully here. So when I call Tampa 2, again, if I have time in the pocket, time in the pocket, time in the pocket, I can get it out there, and he's screwed, right? That corner is screwed on that side of the field. So what I want to do is try to give you a couple, two different techniques that you can use uh, to stop this. The first one's from cover 4, and the second one is from cover 2, right? Those are the two plays that I want to talk about. So the first step, in my opinion, if you want to get better – on the defensive side of the ball is I think it is so critical, at least for beginners, to go ahead and base align their defense. Because what that's going to do is it's going to make your defense look the same every single play. Every single play. Now this year, 
Out of cover four, the bail coverage is actually really good, especially if you have fast corners. So I'm going to go ahead and recommend if you're going to run a cover four defense to go ahead and press coverage. And then what I like to do, those quarter flats, I personally don't like the way they play. So I'm going to turn those into cloud flats. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to shade underneath to create hard flats. And then I'm going to shade coverage over top. And that's going to create cloud flats. Now what you'll see here, and you you might not see it, it's kind of, because it'll be a little bit difficult for me to do it with two controllers. But if you watch, what should happen is Sanders should not be as open. As you see there... Two guys go with him. Two guys go with him. Now, the one trick with this cover four is to make sure, as you, if they are an escape artist quarterback, make sure that you contain your ends. Okay? And again, baseline press, contain your ends. So QB contain. I like to shade coverage down, then shade coverage back up. It takes five seconds, right? Or not even that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the, the linebacker that I'm not using, and I'm going to put him in a quarterback spy, and that's going to keep that's going to keep him from rolling out. And then I'm going to trust these two routes in combination with my user to take care of the underneath middle of the field. So now you'll see if I go to like Z spot and go, if you watch, watch R1. You see now those corners are there with him, and I can click on to them and make a an user pick if I need to. Okay. There's no ability to roll out because you have the contain and the spy, right? So you can't roll out even if this was an escape artist quarterback. And the second thing that you have is you have the cloud flat coverage with the pass commit and the over top and all of those things coming together. Now, granted, the underneath is open, and if they're a smart player, they'll take the underneath. But this is specifically how to help you stop corner routes. All right, the next thing that I want to show you is actually my more preferred method, and that's Tampa 2. But it's Tampa 2, when you audible to Tampa 2 from cover 4, if you base align it, you see how the corners are backed off? In my opinion, this is the way you want to run it. Because the backed off cloud flats, the opponent's, first of all, the opponent's going to think they're in cover 4 or cover 3, and he's going to try to force throw out routes or corner routes, and if he throws them into the clouds, I'm going to be able to take, that, take care of that, right? Then the, the next thing that I like to do is I like to take L1, and I like to put him in a vert hook because I don't need a blitzer. Remember that QB contain and remember that um, pass commit and over top and outside. Those are the coverage adjustments, right? The next thing you want to do is you want to take um, X here, the, the play side linebacker, put him in that quarterback spy. So you have that technique set up. And now you're in a cover two shell. And let me just show you that route that, that beat... Um, that route that beat cover two. And one of the things that you do want to do is you want to take Hitchens and just put him in a middle third. I normally actually take Newman and put him in a middle third and user Hitchens. But if you don't have a middle third on the field, then go ahead and go ahead and take Hitchens and put him in a deep third and just user that because it's going to tell your safeties that you have three deep in the middle of the field. It's going to help them play a little bit wider. So snap of the ball. And you'll see it here. Now, this one it requires a little bit more user skill, right? Especially for those deep, deep corner routes, which there are some in there. But because he's not going to be able to roll out, and because you have someone like a Chris Jones in the middle of the pocket, or in the middle of the, um, yeah, in the middle of the blitz, what's going to happen is they're going to, it's going to basically take them a really, really long time to hit that corner route. They're going to have to basically lock down Chris Jones and his blitz to be able to hit the corner route. And in all likelihood, they're number one, not going to have enough time to do that. But number two, what's going to happen here is if he, you see how deep they get when they start backed off and I can click on and I just can't cause I don't have two controllers, but I could easily click on there and take that away. So again, these are two simple ways that you can stop corner routes from zone and again, this doesn't stop every route in the game. I'm not here to say that, but this is a starting point for most corner routes. Now, some corner routes require different techniques. Some corner routes require uh, cover four palms. Some corner routes require uh, user coverage even. But th this is a starting point that I hope that you can take and apply into your defense because the, the thing that I've learned as someone who throws a lot of corner routes on offense, if I 
um, if I run up against the quarter flats, I could throw quarter routes all day. But if I put those cloud flats out there just by shading down and then shading up, it's a whole it's a whole different ball game with how they actually defend. And as you can see there, I can still fit it in because I didn't press out of the cover four. But if I press out of the cover four, if I click on, this is really important, if you click on to your guy whenever they throw the ball and then you bring him, you, you basically try to user it, that is going to help you a lot as well. So those are a couple of key ways that can help you stop corner routes in this year's game. If you are having more issues on defense, be sure to leave that in the comments of this video. And if you're subscribed to the channel, I've posted a couple videos over there that can help you stop the run in Madden 20. So be sure to go over to the channel and check those out. And last but not least, I'd love to encourage you to join our Discord so that way we can have one-on-one -on -one chats, we can chat as a team, as a community, and we can help each other get better.